Hi, I'm Mike Breo from Creative Photography. Today, I'm going to show you how to use off-camera flash. That's quite simply your flash off away from the camera. Now, all you need to do this is a flash, a light stand, and some light triggers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce the flash off an umbrella. Now, the reason I'm using the umbrella is quite simple. To get nice soft light, you need your light source to be larger than what you're photographing. Now, if you see the standard, standard flash light, is smaller than Eden's face, whereas the brolly, obviously, is a lot larger. So when the light bounces into the brolly and back out onto Eden, we're gonna have a large light source that'll be nice and soft. When I shoot off-camera flash, I shoot in manual mode. This gives me the most creative control over the picture. So I'll start with ISO 100, then I have the shutter speed around a 60th of a second. That's a good starting point. Then what I do is I'll open up the aperture until, if you can see there, the exposure meter. The exposure meter is getting around about, you want it near the naught, so you get a nice exposure and quick test there, perfect. The most crucial part of off camera flash I find is having a good quality light meter. Now, these can be upwards from 100 pounds, but they save hours and hours of time. I've got my camera here set to exposing for the ambient light, the 60th of a second at ISO 100. Also, I've got my flash meter set to the 60th of a second at ISO 100. And what I do is I put it next to Eden's face and fire the flash. And the flash power tells me F4. So what I do is I set my camera to F4 and then take a shot. Now the aperture affects the power of the flash, the shutter speed doesn't. And I'll show you, I've got the camera set here to f5.6. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the aperture to f8, closing the hole down, and we'll see what happens. Now the, the shutter speed affects the ambient light, it doesn't affect the power of the flash. So I'm at a 60th of a second where we were earlier, but I'm gonna change now to 125th of a second. And now I'm gonna to change to a 250th of a second. Now, let's see what happens if we try and go over a 250 of a second. Let's go to a 500th. What happens is, there's not enough time for the shutter to fully open, the flash to fire, and close again. Let me show you how this works. Now, what happens with a shutter is, I'll show you with these, the camera shutter opens, and then the flash goes off, and then the shutter closes behind. Now, that's all fine at, say, a 60th of a second. The shutter can open, like so, a 60th of a second, flash fires, then closes. But once you get up to a 500th of a second, what will happen is the shutter will open and start closing immediately behind it, like so. So there's not enough time for the shutter to fully open, the flash to fire, and close again. So what happens is you'll get a black line across your picture, and that's from the second, second shutter coming across and closing too early. Sometimes you don't need to use a brolly. If it's too windy and you're shooting by yourself, often I don't bother. I just use the bare flash, as we're about to see. 